An Olympic bobsledder who lives in Roswell says a thief ransacked his apartment and stole all of his memorabilia from the Olympics he's competed in. Part of that break-in got caught on camera. Fox Rise Alex Whitler spoke to that Olympian today and joins us with the latest for the search uh, for this burglar, Alex. And Christine, there is crystal clear surveillance video showing a thief's face right before they cleaned out that apartment. Chris Kinney competed in the 2018 South Korean Winter Olympics. He says thieves snatched everything from that competition, medals, pins, even samurai swords from his grandmother. But the... I've wanted to be on the Olympic team since I was, since the Olympics came to Atlanta in 96, and I promised my grandparents I would make a team one day. Sometimes little mementos are the best proof of a dream fulfilled. Um, my entire Olympic kit, so my opening and closing ceremonies jackets, my, uh, my press jackets, my bobsled, all my bobsled gear, um, anything with the, the Olympic rings on them, was was taken. Chris Kinney accomplished what he said he would. The Olympic bobsledder now lives in a Roswell apartment and says he was working with the Paralympic team on a project in Florida when something told him to check his home security cameras. Normally the notifications show his rambunctious dogs, but not Tuesday. I see when it like gets uh, the camera just shuts off and then I see the video of the, the guy. Crystal clear surveillance video shows this man walk right into the camera's lens and turn it off. I went into panic mode. Kenny left Florida immediately to return to Roswell and find someone made off with everything he's worked for. I had some samurai swords that are older than me. Mm -hmm. um, those were stolen. My camera, my TV, my game console, my, I don't, I, I haven't even been able to do an inventory of what was taken in my, my bedroom or uh, in my, my guest room yet. Even his car keys were gone, so Kenny says he had the car itself towed to ensure thieves wouldn't come back for more. He filed a report with Roswell police who say they're following suspect leads, but now it's a waiting game, one that doesn't guarantee a win. Just the memories that come along with all of my o Olympic gear, uh, those are invaluable to me. And then even the, the stuff, the heirlooms that I got from my grandmother, I want, I want those back. Yeah, those are priceless for me. If you recognize the man from that video and the photo that we took, give Roswell police a call. And remember, you can remain anonymous. At the live desk, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. All right, Alex, thanks so much.